Good morning and welcome to the Friday, to the Saturday, I should say, of the St. Garland, the Longin FEI Nations Cup jumping weekend here in Switzerland. This morning, we bring a very exciting class to you, the big Land Rover speed and handiness class. Fences up to 1 meter 45. The course designer, Gerard Lechat, is has just built a very, very interesting and complicated course. We have two options on the course. I mean, 17 obstacles, 19 efforts. And being a one-round speed class, four seconds added for a fence down. Sudden death for the big Land Rover speed and handiness class. And first into the arena is Barbara Schneiper for Switzerland. Here this weekend as an individual, Switzerland one of the 10 teams in the Longin FEI Nations Cup jumping tomorrow. Barbara Schneiper, who's already been in the money this morning. A seven year old in the first class here at St. Garland. Two horses entered in this class. So there's 26 remaining in the class now because Antonia Alfonso is pulled out from the start list that would have been on Longine timing this morning. Just a quick note about Antonio Lafonso. He was second in that young horse class this morning. And he has also, um, on the first day of St. Garner, was second and third with, on, on the young horses as well. So um, Waiting to start for the Land Rover Speed and hand in this cars here in St. Garland. 26 starters, sudden death. And let's have a look at this very interesting course set by Gerard Lachat. It's now first fence, a 1 meter 40, 160 wide triple bar, right handed to a 1 meter 40 upright. Six, 37 meters down to fence three. Now, Barbara Schneider has a choice to go left or right. She's gone right and now goes left handed back to fence five. So that both those fences, last two launching fences, just jumped at either fences four and five. You can jump them either way as she can now. She's gone right handed to seven B. That's the taller of the options or the sh and the shortest route as well. Down to the Oxer at eight. Still nothing to add four to add i do apologize the graphic was out of my sight for a second so there is four to add for barbara schneider 19 jumping obstacles it's a twisty turny course here set by gerard lechat Sharp left hand turn. Good shot. No, it's gone. Eight to add. Finishes on 103.9. Barbara Schneider and Escoffia, the 12 year old Dutch bred representing Switzerland. A 
103.9 total score, including the eight added. Barbie Schneider, who will now be going out to warm up her second ride. Quick fire. Well, Egypt have had a great start to this week. One of the teams, some of the 10 teams in the Longin FBI Nations Cup tomorrow. And this is Kareem El Zogbi, Will with F. Narcist. Kareem's not sure what um, those exclamations, animations from Brava Schneider are. But we're now looking at Kareem El Zogbi and F. Narcist for Egypt. I was just going to say was teammate Niall Nasser won the Long Jean Grand Prix last night um, yesterday afternoon here in St. Garland. So in great form. Hundred and three point nine. Set by Barbara Schneider for Switzerland, but that included two fences down, so the four seconds per fence added, making it a total of 103.9. For Egypt, Karine El Zogbi, F Narcist, second of the twenty-six competitors. Left-handed, now a choice of going left or right. You have to jump both, just a question of which order. Gone left, going right-handed now. This will now become fence five for Karim Mazzogli. That's gone down, four to add, down to the Oxa. They come thick and fast here in this beautiful arena at, at St. Garland. Went for the big option, 7B, the 145, and it, that's paid the penalty. Huge jump over the Oxa. Five strides, 23 metres, another one gone down. That's fence 10. 17 obstacles in all, 17 fences in all, 19 jumping obstacles. No problems through the double. Rattles the pole at the back of the Liverpool, but it's still there, still just the 12 seconds to add to the time for Kareem El Zogbi. Sharp left hand down to a one meter 45 upright and then on to 17. Hundred and sixteen point six eight sorry, hundred and sixteen point zero eight. One one six point zero eight for Kareem El Zogbi and the eleven year old Dutch bred F Narcist. And we're watching the Land Rover. Speed and handiness class. That's fence four or fence five. That's one of the two options on the track. 116.08 for Egypt. Kareem El Zogbi into second place. Back to Switzerland. Rank number 84 in the world. Bram Bolsiger with Dubai Dubois Pinche. Doesn't Swiss riders taking part on the international competitions here this weekend at St. Garland. Four of them in the Longin FBI Nations Cup team, one being Brian Bolsinger. And he took the different route, the opposite route to Kareem El Zogbi and, and handled it beautifully. Keeps to the shortest track possible of that Oxer, keeping to the right. Now will he go right or left? He's probably going to have to go. He went left actually on the one meter 40 a bit more room coming down to this Oxer.
still clear. Good turn back to fence 13. Still clear. Very good round from Barn Bullsiger. Comes to the last. Nothing to add, 96, 96.31 the time for Brad Bolsiger for Switzerland, Dubai, Dubois, Pichet in to the lead for our hosts here in St. Gallen. Well, a great round from Brown Bullsiger. Three of the 26 have gone. 96.31. Now, for the Czech Republic, Sarah Vringlokova with Oscar de Fontaine. Oscar de Fontaine. De Fontaine still jumping out of his skin at the age of 19. A. Then she can go left or right. So it's gone right, that's the one meter 45, left it standing. As part of the double, four to add. Flattened over that Oxo over the Liverpool. Extremely well for a 19 year old. Great to see horses looked after so well in this sport. Being able to keep them going to late teenagers. Hundred and seven point five five, including the eight to add. One oh seven five five for Sarah Vringokova and Oscar de Fontaine into third place. A really sprightly round. From the nineteen year old Oscar de Fontaine. Kevin Jochums for the Netherlands with Balu Z. Brilliant performance last night with this 26 year old. Fourth yesterday, I keep saying last night, yesterday afternoon in the Longi and FEI Grand Prix. Finished fourth on Turbo Z. 49 competitors came forward in the the Grand Prix. 11 clears in the first round. He goes for the one meter 45, but didn't make that extra five centimeters. That's four to add.
Two more gone. Knocks it over the Liverpool. Liverpool obviously taking some of the concentration away, but that's 16 to add now. Just going to coast home. Over the Longin Oxer, one one nine forty eight. One one nine forty eight, including the sixteen additional seconds to add for the four fences down into fifth place. Kevin Jochams and Bally Z for the Netherlands. Anthony Bourcard for Switzerland. Janice V, Janice number five. Been up, th Ooh, been up through the ranks of the juniors and young riders. No penalties for a refusal because the clock keeps ticking. And that's a penalty by default. Really got into a rhythm now, Anthony Bukhar and Janice. Well, spoke too soon, so came in quite tight to that rather decorated upright. And so Elimination for Anthony Bocard and Janice V. Going so well after the middle part of that was going very nicely indeed. Sticky start, sticky end. Elimination, Anthony Bocard. To Germany, Pia Reich, riding PB Stagenta, riding here as an individual, not part of the German squad in the Longin FIA Nations Cup tomorrow. Going left. So now it's right handed. Takes the longer, slightly smaller option, rattles the pole, but it stays in the cup, still clear. Pierre Wright for Germany with PB Stagenta.
nicely done. Didn't waste any time turning in defence 13. Current leader Brown Pulsinger for Switzerland 96.31. And that's two down, so that's eight to add now for uh, Pia Reich. One oh nine fifty six with the eight added. One oh nine fifty six for Pia Reich and PB Stagenta for Germany. Into fourth place. So quarter of the field gone. Current leader Brian Bulsiger on a time of 96.31. In fact, the only one of the athletes to have gone clear with nothing to add. So 96.31. Current leader Brian Bulsiger for Switzerland. Number three in the launching world rankings reigning European champion Martin Fuchs for Switzerland with Tam Tam du Vallon. Along with Brans Balsinger, the current leader, two of the members of the Swiss team for tomorrow's Nations Cup. champion took there set him up to come to the back but unfortunately it went now he's gonna have to put his skates on Martin Fuchs he knows he's got four seconds to add takes the shortest route at 7b part of the double down all over now with 12 seconds to add for Martin Fuchs of Switzerland One oh seven three six one oh seven thirty six for Martin Fuchs for Switzerland, including twelve seconds penalties. One oh seven thirty six Martin Fuchs, Tam Tam Du Vallon for Switzerland. Just didn't get high enough. We stay with Switzerland. Edward Schmitz riding Valenciana K, 12 year old Hanoverian, bred by Bradley Du Roy. Perfect over that tight four and fences four and five. Takes the big option.
21 years old. Riley Schmitz, 35th in the world rankings for the under 25s. And this is looking very smart indeed. Six point three one, the time to beat, and that's fellow countryman Brian Bullsinger. He's going to have to go some to get to the last. He flies the last. He's not going to make the ninety six point three one, but goes into second ninety seven point four five. Second place for Edward Schmitz and Balenciana K. Great round from the youngest rider in the competition here in St Gallen. We're watching the Land Rover speed and hand in his class. Been quite a lot of rain over the last couple of days in the arena. Now we go over to the United States. Paris Salon riding Anna Jo. Still just two have actually gone clear of the nine athletes to start in this Land Rover Speed and Handiness class. Both those riders, Brian Bulsiger, Eduard Schmitz, we've just seen, got under 100 seconds. And they both kept the pressure on. That's 1 metre 40, the right hand side, 145. Slightly longer trip, taking that slightly smaller fence. But set her up nicely for that Oxer. Again, the blue poles over that Liverpool. Another, that's, that's another one down, so four sec just four seconds to add for Paris Salon at the moment. Hundred and four point four eight as Paris Salon looks up at the clock. Hundred and four point four eight for Paris Salon into fourth place with Anna Joe for the United States. Ten of the twenty six competitors gone in this Land Rover speed and hand in his class. The fences, nineteen obstacles, nineteen efforts to jump seventeen obstacles, and they come thick and fast over this 740 meter course set by Gerard Lechat, the course designer. Gerard Lechat assisted by Reta Rufa and his team. His current leader, 96.31, Brian Bulsiger, Swiss in the top three places. You've got to break that 100 seconds to be in the money, it looks like today. So now in the arena, another man who's very capable of doing just that. For Switzerland, Roman Duje with Balcanto de Baguin. Regular member of the Swiss teams during the last decade.
taken the slightly longer route. Oh, that's part of the double. Four to add. Tight turn, back to 13. Roman de Gay for Switzerland. He's got the four to add, he knows that. He's got to keep the pressure on now if he wants to be in the money here in the Land Rover speed and handiness class. Hundred and one oh two. It was a quick time without that four to add. So a hundred and one into third place. One oh one point zero two seconds into third place for Romain Duje and Belcanto de Bourgoin. Yeah, without that four added, that would have put him in second place behind Brian Bolsinger at the moment. But not to be puts him in third at the moment the man de Gay. now to Sweden super round for this lady in the launching Grand Prix yesterday finishing fifth place Evelina Tovac with Cortina 2-1-2 for Sweden Still clear and definitely going very much forward, going right-handed. This is looking good for the Swede. Member of the team in the Longin FEI Nations Cup tomorrow. Long way to go on this track. But still, what a great start. 53 seconds over that oxer just before the double. She's in line to give the current leader, Brown Bolsinger, some pressure. 96.31. Still clear. Great line. Defence 13, now over the rustic upright, 14. She's now got a gallop to the last. She's not going to make it. And then the fence down as well. And that's it. Well, uh, potentially that was a very good round. But 107.87 in the end. 107.87 the time for Evelina Tovac and Cortina. 2-1-2 into eighth place. So just the two clears from the first of the 12 of the 26 competitors coming forward to the Land Rover speed and handiness class. And those two clears, unsurprisingly, perhaps, in first and second place with 96.31 seconds set by Barnsall Bulsinger for Switzerland. And just over a second outside that time, Edward Schmitz for Switzerland, 97.45. Billy Toomey for Ireland. You Game Boy Z. That's the ten year old. Sixty thousand euro prize fund 
for this class. Looks like it's going to be a, a quick time, but he does have the additional of four penalty seconds. It is a very quick time indeed. It puts him into third place with that four added. Billy Toomey with U Game Boy Z for Ireland, 98.61. With the four added, of course, if he hadn't had that four seconds added, that would have put him into the lead. So. The time of Bram Bulsiger's leading time of 96.31. We've now seen that beaten, but with one fence down. 98.61 for Billy Toomey, you Game Boy Z for Ireland, into third place. 13 of the 26 competitors gone in this, the Land Rover Speed and Handiness class. We're here in St. Garland on a fairly dreary day. We now go to Mark Rolflisberger with Kulchin 80. takes the left hand of the options and going left or right there at fences four or five. The shoe might have just come off, but nice soft ground, taking the smaller and longer of the two options at 7B. Still clear. Ten seconds to get home from now. This is looking very, very good indeed for Mark Roethlisberger. It's going to be very close indeed. He flies the last. He stops the clock and set 96.15. We have a new leader. We stay with Switzerland. Switzerland in the first three places at this stage of this competition, but the new leader, 96.15, Mark Roethlisberger and Kalchen 80. Switzerland in the first three spots in the Land Rover Speed and Handedness class. At the moment, that is, we still have 11 competitors to come, and indeed that shoe did come off, but lovely soft ground with all these arenas, so no harm done. Switzerland in first, second and third place at the moment. Stay with Switzerland, Elin Ott and Remix. And 
certainly not 22 years old. Been up through the ranks for the Swiss teams, through the juniors and young riders. Jumped in the Longin Grand Prix yesterday. And riding here is an individual, oh, as one of the team members for the Longin FEI Nations Cup. And going very nicely indeed in the Land Rover Speed and Hand in his class so far. And really keeping the pressure up. Beautifully through the double. Now this difficult turn back to fence 13. Steadies up. Despite being cautious, didn't get high enough. It's got the four to add for Ellen Ott. It's going to be a quick time, but the four additional pan goes 99.66 to be under 100 seconds with four added is an extremely good time puts her into fifth place ellen ott for switzerland with remix and that is the quickest round that we have seen so far just correct that billy toomey without the four seconds added 94.61 and Ellen Ott, 95.66. So two quick rounds, quicker than the current leader, but both had four added, which has slipped them down the leaderboard. Current leader, Mark Roethlisberger, 96.15. Switzerland, first, second, and third at the moment in the Land Rover Speed and Handiness class. Stay with Switzerland, Edward Smits with Lantaro von Hoff. Recall. That's the first time that we've seen that fence go. Twelve to add for Edwin Smits. And Edwin Smits knows that he can't put any pressure on the current leaders, so he retires with Lantaro von Hoff. Edwin Smits for Switzerland retires. to Mexico, Francisco Pascal, with the 12-year-old Holstein-bred Coronado.
regular member of the Mexican team in the Nations Cup team here this weekend. And part of that incredible day at the RDS Dublin show a couple of years ago when Mexico won the Longin FER Nations Cup qualifier there. Wonderful scenes and a wonderful round so far. Absolutely hurdled that Oxa. Still clear. Nicely through the double. Ten seconds to get home. One more fence to negotiate for Francisco Pascal, 96.15. That's the time that Mark Roethlisberger's and the last fence has gone down, 100.85 in total. 100.85, the time for Francisco Pascal into sixth place. Just that last fence down would have put him in third place without that four added at the last, but into fifth, into sixth place, I should say. Francis, Francisco Pascal for Mexico with Coronado. For Austria, Katharina Romberg with Kellis. Switzerland currently in the first three positions. Mark Roethlisberger heading that trio with a currently winning time of 96.15. Nine remaining to jump, including Katarina Romberg. that in 54 seconds still clear Katarina Romberg but needs to get a little bit quicker about a couple of seconds down on the leader of 96.15 Mark Roethlisberger but cuts in nicely to fence 13 took it at an incredible angle Great round from the Austrian. Not going to make the winning time. Oh, and again, the last goes down. So 102.48 for Katarina Romberg for Austria into eighth place. 102.98. 102.98 8. 102 for Katarina Romberg and careless for Austria into eighth place. Front bar of the ox have come down on this occasion. Last has come down a few times. So Mark Roethlisberger, 96.15, current leader. Now we go back to Switzerland. Niklaus Schertenberger with Quinn Cassie.
the options there at, at fences four and five where you can go left and right over those Land Rover uprights. It's about 50-50 of which people have, have taken. And that there at 7B. Again, probably 50-50. Left-hand side, 1 meter 40, slightly longer. Right-hand side, 145, and slightly shorter. Whoop. G GPS went a little bit wayward there. Which, it's through him completely, which is unfortunate because that was looking like a very good round indeed for Nikolaus Schoenberger, but he's now got the four to add. very unfortunate because this is, would have been an extraordinary round and may well have troubled the leaders but instead with that one fence down 100.63 for to add or for added I should say so 100.64 for Nicolas Schertenberger and Queen Cassie for Switzerland like poles fall easily if touched so no harm done there for Sweden Douglas Lindelow riding Kimber du Soleil current leader Mark Roethlisberger, 96.15. Switzerland in the top three spots at the moment. All those three with clears. And everybody else below the third spot with at least four seconds to add. Douglas Lindelow, four Sweden. Kimber du Soleil. Is that another shoe that came off there? Ground probably a little bit sticky after the rain that they've had over the last two or three days in St. Gallen. Right up on the clock, the Swede, Douglas Lindelow, in line to challenge that 96.15. Not anymore. First part of the double once again has gone. So that's four added. Seriously keeping up the pressure. He knows he's got four to add. He's going to have to go some to try and compete with that 96.15. Fourth place at the moment, Billy Toomey with 98.61. That includes the four seconds added to his time. This is a very quick time indeed. Flies the last. 99.2. 99.2 seconds. Douglas Lindelow for Sweden into fifth place. 99.2. Douglas Lindelow for Sweden, Kimber du Soleil into fifth place. Mark Roethlisberger, 96.15 in the lead. Bram Bulsiger for Switzerland, 96.31. And the these Swiss riders in the top three, Eduardo Schmitz, 97.45. Just those three in the top of the rankings at the moment are the only ones that have gone clear. Maybe that's obvious, but occasionally you see something extraordinary happen where you do get a fence down and still you get a winner beating some clears. But there are one, two, six more to go. We stay with Switzerland. Aurelia Lusser, Annabelle Hayes.
Brilliant over that. Option at four and five. You need to land over this ox in about 51 and she landed in 49 seconds this is a very very quick round from Aurelia Losa and again the first part of the double has played its part so for oh it's that's it that's gone two down Eight seconds to add to the time. It looks like being a very quick round indeed, though, without that eight seconds. And she flies over the Longi Oxa. 102.06, I think that was. 102.06 into 10th place goes Aurelia Lusa and Annaba Hayes for Switzerland. Great shot of saving time in the air. It's got a little bit slippery, but the studs help them get around those tight corners. We now go to Harry Charles for Great Britain. Let's remind ourselves, Mark Roethlisberger for Switzerland, 96.15. Superb leap up on the clock. A good two seconds up on the clock at the moment for Harry, Clark, Harry Charles for Great Britain. Valkyrie de Sants. Or add to add now. Coming down to the final obstacle, Harry Charles for Great Britain. 94.69 into first place. What an incredible round from the young man for Great Britain. Into first place, 94.69. What an extraordinary round from Harry Charles and Valkyrie Desantz. We've got just four more still to come into this competition. And but that time, looked very very difficult to beat indeed bearing in mind that 94.69 includes four seconds to add so we know it can be done and there are four names behind harry charles who are all capable of doing it and up all the smiles from the young man from great britain This gentleman, a little older, 
and hugely experienced. World number 17. Henrik von Eckermann, Hera de Landetta. Just a nine year old. Be lovely young horse. Won't be going flat to the ball to the nine year old, but what experience we're seeing here from a wonderful combination. some time he jumps the last into second place that was a superb round he didn't look to be going that quickly in the round early on but what an incredible round from Henrik von Eckermann with Hera de Landetta just a nine-year-old into second place with that clear round Harry Charles, current leader, two left, three left to jump. One of the British team members for the Longin FBI Nations Cup tomorrow, Harry Charles, also as of with all the four team members in the Nations Cup tomorrow on the shortlist for the Olympic Games for representing Great Britain. We now go to Germany. Andre Thiem with Conaccio. Current leader, Harry Charles, Great Britain, 94.69. Valkyrie Desans. Andre Thiem jumping Conaccio. Still clear. Couple of the bogey fences out of the way for Henri Thiem for Germany. won't make the 94.69 seconds but he's still clear clear of 100.84 the time into 10th place goes Andre Thiem and Conaccio for Germany Two left to go in the Land Rover Speed and Handlers class here in St. Gallen.
That's the current leader. Harry Charles for Great Britain. With her second ride in this competition for Switzerland, Barbara Schneiper. And quick fire. Had a couple of fences down with Escofia, who was first to go in this competition. Just going to say, I didn't waste any time there negotiating those fences four and five, but four to add. It's a good time for Barbie Schne Schneiper so far with quick fire, but she, the four will prevent her from rattling the leaders. Super turn back to that flowery upright. This is very good indeed. It's into sixth place on 98.44. Frustration with that four added because that, without that, would have put her into the number one spot here in the Land Rover Speed and Handedness class. But into sixth place goes Barbara Sniper with quick fart, 98.44 with the four seconds added. Current leader with one to go. Current leader 94.69. Harry Charles with Valkyrie Devzance for Great Britain. And let's remind ourselves that 94.69 included one fence down. In second place, who jumped to clear for Sweden, Henrik von Eckermann on 95.5. Now for Egypt. Last of the 26 competitors with his second ride. Karim Elzogby, this time riding the 10-year-old Galos. Good shot over the first three. Taking the left-hand route to fences four and five, the alternative. Over the harder of the two options at 7B. Still, oh no, four to add. I was about to say still clear. And with the clock, unless miracles happen from now, although the second down, so we know that Harry Charles for Great Britain will be winning today's Land Rover Speed and Handlers class here in St. Garland. So we're seeing the last of the 26 competitors, Kareem El Zogby with the 10 year old Dutch bird Gallus. Currently 12 seconds to add to the time. Pops over the last, rattles the back pole. 
And that's the winner. So Kareem El Zogby completes the 26 competitors here in St. Gallen for the Landover Speed and Handiness class. Completes on 115.05 into 22nd place. So the results of the Land Rover Speed and Handiness class here in St. Gallen. First, Harry Charles for Great Britain with Valkyrie Desantz. An incredible round. Stopped the clock in 90.69 seconds. A fully five seconds quicker than in second place, Onuk Van Ekerman. He had four to add, but he was so quick, it kept him in the number one spot. Harry Charles takes the number one spot. Onuk Van Ekerman in second. In third place for Switzerland, Mark Roethlisberger, followed by three more fellow countrymen, Brian Bulsiger, Eduard Schmitz and Barbara Schneiper. In seventh place for Ireland, Billy Toomey, then Douglas Lindelow for Sweden, followed by another great round from Switzerland with Ellen Ott, Nicholas Schertenberger in tenth place, Andre Tem TM 11th and Francisco Pascal in 12th. That's the top 12 of the 2021 Land Rover Speed and Handiness class here in St. Garland. The big weekend for the Longines FEI Nations Cup jumping that we bring you live tomorrow from St. Garland. The first horse in the arena for the first of the remaining four Division One legs of the Longines FEI Nations Cup will be at 11.45 Central European Summer Time. So Swiss time, 11.45, the first horse in in the Longines FEI Nations Cup tomorrow. All 10 teams that are here to compete for this first leg in St. Garland will compete in both rounds. And just to bring you up to date a little bit with some of the rulings over the Longines FEI Nations Cup, due to the disruption that has been caused to the program this year, all the teams in Division 1 are invited to the Longines FEI Nations Cup final in Barcelona later on in the year, irrespective of the results in Division One in the four remaining Division One qualifiers. But tomorrow, it's all about the first leg of the Longines FEI Nations Cup. Today, it's all about one of the youngest riders riding here at St. Garland, Harry Charles for Great Britain, who's just stormed away with an incredible round with the 12-year-old self france bred Valkyrie Desans. The man who is, yes, day before yesterday, was announced to be on the shortlist for Great Britain's Olympic team. Harry Charles for Great Britain, Valkyrie Desans, victorious in the Land Rover Speed and Handiness class, St. Garland, 2021.
Blízko po pozor, je dávka, nebudá na tento pánu. Thank you. 